Gretan. Have your seats. Hallelujah. I greet you all in Jesus name it is well. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You're welcome in Jesus name. Na karibisha kwa jina la Yesu. In his presence there is all we need. Katika uwepo wake kuna vyote ambavyo tunataka. God loves you so much. Mungu anakupenda sana. That's why he has sent his word today. Ndio maana yake ametuma neno lake siku ya leo. Oh my desire. My desire. To know you more. To know you Lord. My desire is to know I want you to sing the song from your heart. Oh my desire, my desire to know you more, to know you more. My desire is to know you. secret in this world that you need to know Kama kuna siri katika hii dunia ambayo unafaa kujua is to know God the more Ni kumjua Kristo This is the greatest achievement you can boast of That Hili ndio la jambo kuu ambalo unaweza jivunia That I know Jesus Ambapo namjua Christo. Knowing God. Kumjua Mungu in truth and in spirit. Katika roho na katika kweli. Unlocks all doors to successful life. Inafungua milango yote ya ufanisi. There is something that I say. I want you to write down. Truth, write down. Write it down. Truth. O kweli the way to life ndio njia ya maisha truth the way to life ukweli njia ya maisha so let's look at this and i repeat again by saying one of the greatest achievements you can have today jambo hile kuu unaweza kuwa nalo leo and you can boast about ambaye unaweza jivunia is to know god ni kumjua mungu how much can you say you know god kwa kiwango kipi unaweza sema unamjua mungu hallelujah hallelujah how much can you say you know god kwa kiwango kipi unaweza sema unamjua mungu because that is where life is hidden kwa maana hapo ndipo maisha yamejificha the bible say those who know god
utamjua shetani you cannot know the truth and fail to know the wrong hawezi kosa kujua ukweli na ukose kujua uovu ningependa sisi wa kristo tutamani sana 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 na every day unaishi unajiuliza swali na unajirudia mimi namjua Mungu kiwango gani how much can i say i know god kwa kiwango kipi naweza sema ninamjua Mungu because if you know god today kwa sababu kama unamjua Mungu leo it will affect all areas of your life amen amen ukijua Mungu leo vizuri it affect kila area ya maisha yako both ya kiokristo na maisha ile tunaishi pale nje i want to talk to you nataka kuwazungumzia maana kuna neno hapa inasema watu wengi tunataka Mungu na tunapenda kuitanishwa na Mungu na hata tuna act ni kama tunamwabudu but in real sense tunamwabudu wrong tunamwendea wrong na kila kitu tunafanya in the name of God we do it in a mess because we don't know God tunaifanya kwa njia ambayo haistahili kwa maana tumjui Mungu tell your neighbor knowing God is knowing his ways kumjua Mungu ni kujua njia zake repeat again knowing God is to know his ways What can you say you know about God? Unaweza sema unajua nini kuhusu Mungu? Look at Romans 10. Warumi 10. Verse 1. And nitauliza kanisa ya Kristo. Every time unasikia neno hili, take it serious. Huyu ni Mungu anakuongelesha remember what the bible say matthew 44 mtu hataishi nini kwa mkate lakini kwa kila neno inayotoka kinywani mwa Mungu so saa hii ndio umeamka sasa ati wameanza kuongea maneno ya Mungu ha saa hiyo uko alert because kile kinaendelea saa hii it is what matter to you the more if you give this word attention giving the word attention is giving god attention giving god attention is positioning yourself for christ to visit you kujiweka kwa njia ambayo inastahili ndipo za kristo akutembelee so listen to the paul anasema romans 10 brethren my heart desire and prayer to god for israel is that they may be saved what is salvation koko kana nini verse 2 inasema for i bear them witness yani ninawajua wa israeli nawajua that they have a zeal for god are you ready but not according to the knowledge yani hawa watu wa mungu wana bidii ya Mungu wana shauku ya Mungu lakini sio kulingana na ufahamu wa neno Warumi kumi kutoka mwanzo inasema hivi Akina ndugu ni njema ya moyo wangu na dua yangu kwa Mungu kwa ajili yao kwa kweli ni kwa ajili ya wokovu wao kwa maana Ninawatolea ushahidi kwamba wanabidii kwa ajili ya Mungu lakini si kulingana na ujuzi sahihi That is it. Wana bidii kwa ajili ya Mungu, Mungu. lakini sio kulingana na 
vile inatakiwa ama bidii isiyo na hekima isiyo na ufahamu ni kama unakimbia ile inaitangwa lyrics ile wanapeana mti anapea huyu amen look here look here look here tunasimama hapa moja hapa mwingine hapa mwingine pale so huyu anapea huyu huyu anapea wale ni kama unatoka hapa una suppose kupea ule kijiti but unaenda all through unawapita wote unakimbia simply because ni ndio za kukimbia kukimbia umekimbia si ndio but lakini sio kulingana na kanuni that is where our problem is tunapenda Mungu lakini sio kulingana na kanuni zake and you know god is not interested in what we do more than reason why you are doing it how you do it and motive behind that action tukumbuke ya kwamba mungu hana matamanio kwa ambayo tunafanya lakini sababu ya kuifanya i know my people na niko na ushuhuda that wako na kiu ya Mungu this is the church lakini si kulingana na ufahamu number 3 nasema for they be ignorant of God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own righteousness have not submitted to the righteousness of God so my yoko kiswahili kwa sababu ya kutojua uadilifu wa Mungu bali wakijaribu kujiwekea uadilifu wao wenyewe hawakujitiisha kwa uadilifu wa Mungu so unakosema napenda Mungu ama nataka kumuimbia wimbo kumwabudu kumtukuza napenda Mungu lakini kitendo kile tunafanyia Mungu ndio tunafanya ni kama tunafanyia Mungu but tunataka kutumia njia zetu sisi wenyewe zile tunaona zinatofaa na zinaendanisha na vile sisi wenyewe tunataka lakini sio kanuni ya Mungu vile inasema that is where the problem is and that's why Paulo analia anasema watu wangu watu wangu desire ya moyo wangu ni kwamba muweze kuokoka. Kuokoka ni nini? Kuokoka ni kujua ukweli. Ambia jirani yako. Rudia tena. John 17 verse 3 tusome. Inasema this is life eternal that they may know him. Ha? Wokofu ni nini? Ni kujua njia za Mungu. Some kwa Kiswahili. John 17 verse 3. Yohana 17 10. mstari wa 3. Mstari wa 3 unasema, Uzima wa milele ndio huu. Wa kujua wewe Mungu wa pekee, wa kweli na yule uliyemtuma Yesu Kristo. Sasa umejibiwa. Wokofu ni nini? Ni kujua? Come on. Wokofu ni nini? Si unasema unasemanga nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana. Neno inasema wokofu ni nini? Is to know God and his ways. Ni kujua Mungu na njia zake. Say I mean, salvation is knowing God and his ways oh my desire my desire to know you more to know you more my desire is to know you
Tamanio. Let this be your desire, Lord Jesus. My desire, I want to know you the more. Tamanio letu ni kukujua zaidi. To know God is to know his ways. Kumjua Mungu ni kujua njia zake. What do I mean knowing his ways? Na maanisha nini nikisema kujua njia zake? I mean God's plan. God's direction. God's protocol, principles and character. Ni kuzijua njia za Mungu, ni kuzijua kanuni za Mungu na kujua tabia za Mungu. So that whatever you do in the name of God it will be accepted by God. A good example. You want to pray. You want to talk to God. In prayer. How do you go about praying? That is why you are encouraged before you pray read your bible Ndio maana unatiwa unaambiwa kabla hujaomba lazima usome neno Tell your neighbor before you pray read your bible Why so that the spirit of God can put prayer language in your mouth Ndipoza roho wa Mungu akaweke lugha ya maombi katika kinywa chako. And in your heart. Na katika moyo wako. But sisi tukitaka kuomba unaangalianga ni nini nimekosa? Ah sina pesa. Unaenda in the name of Jesus nipatie pesa, nipatie pesa. You have missed the mark. That is why tunaombanga na hatujibiwi na Mungu. Because ile kitendo tunafanya ni cha Mungu, but hatujafuata kanuni yake, njia yake. Bibi anasema Tunaenda na senses. Unaangalia unaona vile ilivyo. Unasikia na masikio. Hiyo inasati hiyo inakutuma kuomba. Sio kila kitu unaona na kila kitu unasikia inastahili kukupatia burden to pray. Kuomba. And that's why we pray and there is no answer. What is God's way of prayer? First of all, your heart must be pure. Have you forgiven your sister, your brother? Then, what is the motive behind this prayer? Nia yako ni nini? Kwa nini unataka kuomba? Lazima uexamine hayo maneno kabla hujaomba. Hiyo kitu unataka kuitisha Mungu. First of all, moyo wako ni msafi? Because Mungu angalie vile wanadamu wanaangalia. Mungu anaangalia nini? Moyo wa mtu. So, process ya prayer ndio that prayer ifikie Mungu. It must be done according to his way. Lazima ifanywe kulingana na njia zake. And if you do not know the way. Na kama hatujui njia zake. And what is the way? Njia yake ni ipi? Say after me the truth. The truth. Is the way. Ukweli ndiyo njia. Lazima ujue ukweli wa Mungu anatakangaje. Watu wakienda kuomba anasemaje? Anasema sufficient ni yoye yenu kwanza. Na mkiomba angalieni nia yenu. Motif yako. Unataka hiyo baraka ufanyie nini? Mimi nataka hiyo baraka ndio watu wanione wajue nimebarikiwa. Hiyo ni wrong motif. Bwana sifiwe. So this is what I'm saying knowing God is knowing his way. Kumjua Mungu ni kujua njia yake. Have you forgiven your neighbor? Umemsamehe jirani yako? Because I'm sure hata vile tumekaa hapa ikifika saa ya kuomba labda unaomba lakini ukishtuka unaangalia unakuta mwenye amekaa karibu na wewe. He, huyu ni ule adui yako. So ulikuwa unaomba umeinua mikono kwa sababu amekaa pande hii unafanya hivi. Unaanza kuomba hivi. Sasa umefunga macho asikuone usimuone. Eh? Unaharibu wakati. 
machozi unaoto ni bure utakausha mwili bure uanze kushikwa na ulcers na Mungu hata kusaidia kwa sababu ndio unalia but kilio chako akisimami juu ya ukweli kama haujasamee usiombe because ukiomba ni bure that's why maandiko nasema kwanza enda musamee alafu sasa uje utoe dhabihu zako ama ufanye ibada yako men of us today sunday all over the world people flock to churches but it's not funny enough to say very few attract Christ's attention wengi wetu dunia nzima tumekusanyika makanisani lakini si wengi wetu wanapata mvutio wa Kristo if we go to god in other ways not in his way tukienda kwa mungu katika njia zingine ambazo si zake then we are going for ourselves by ourselves tunaenda kwa sababu yetu wenyewe but not for god sio kwa not with god sio kwa ajili ya mungu na sio na mungu look at our how we laugh how you forgive tazama mbavyo tunapenda na kusema praise yeah tusimame to praise mungu ambavyo tunamsifu mungu so unapea mungu ile haikubaliki Hmm? na ukitwa mkutano wengine pale waambie utupige makofi we uko juu juu ya fumbi <laughs> lakini ile ya Mungu haitoki kwa moyo ambia jirani yako anything ambayo unafanyia Mungu na itoki kwa moyo ni dhambi my praising should come from my heart kusifu kwangu Mungu kunafaa kutoke kwa moyo Unajua ukiangalia mtu anasifu Mungu kutoka kwa moyo utajua. Kwanza atakai kujua nani amekaa karibu na ye. Kama ni kudansi hata dance tu kama Daudi. Ajali mangu itaanguka ama itaanguka. Nani yako karibu ni mke wake, ni in-laws ama ni nani? Doesn't care. It is my time with God. Ajali maana ni wakati wake na Mungu. But we una dance kidogo kidogo unakumbuka we ni CEO. Hmm? Na maybe your employees are here. That is how we miss the way of God. Even to tunakosa njia ya Mungu. It must come from heart. Lazima itoke ndani ya mioyo yetu. For it to be of God. Niposa iwe ya Mungu. Paulo anasema hawa watu wako na njaa nia nzuri sana na zile ya kutafuta Mungu. Lakini by the time wafikie Mungu wamepungukiwa na ufahamu, wanafanya vitu zao. That's why analia waweze kuokoka. Kuokoka ni nini? Ni kujua njia kweli. Waanze kufanya mambo katika the right way. Waache kupotesa muda. Soma Matthew 15 verse 8. Matthew 15 verse 8. What does the Bible say? It says These people worship me with their mouth but their heart are too far from me. Inasema watu hawa huniheshimisha kwa midomo yao lakini mioyo yao iko mbali nami. So inakuwa ni ile hapa kwa mdomo tu I love you Jesus you are my savior. But unajua upendo ni nini? Kama kweli unapenda Mungu maandiko nasema shika njia zake ambia mtu kama unapenda Mungu shika njia za Mungu if you say that you love God kama unasema unampenda Mungu then keep his command weka amri zake see after me if i love Jesus i should keep his way i should keep his way oh How I love Jesus Oh How I love Jesus 
I love you. But you don't keep his way. I'm talking to you, can I amen? If you love Jesus, keep his way. Knowing God is knowing his way. Kumjua Mungu ni kujua njia zake. Look at our love. Angalia upendo wetu. We love with the expectation. Tunapenda tukiwa na matarajio. Una unapenda huyu kwa sababu unajua huyu huyu nikimwambia anitumie kitu atanitumia. Lakini wale hawezi nitumia kitu hata namba yake huwezi yeka kwa simu yako. Tunapenda na expectation matarajio lakini yeye Mungu anatupenda bila expectation na anataka tu kuwa na hiyo love Bwana asifiwe sana In fact wale watu wazuri sana wa kutendea mambo ni ule mtu ambaye unamtendea kitendo ambayo hata akitaka hawezi kukutendea Maana unajua kama hawezi kukutendea naye atakutendea ni Mungu Yesu makufi mazuri sana. Let us come to a point whereby we know the ways of God. Wacha tufike mahali tunazijua njia za Mungu. We don't follow Jesus blindly. Hatumfuati Kristo kwa upovu. But we know what are his standards. Tunajua kanuni zake. Follow his standards fuata kanuni zake If is to love kama ni kupenda love without expectation penda bila matarajio If is to worship kama ni kumwabudu worship from the heart mwabudu kutoka kwa moyo wako If is to serve God kama ni kumtumikia Mungu willingly willingly from your heart kwa kujitolea kutoka kwa moyo wako and walk in his ways. Na utembee katika njia zake. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. God is looking for a church. Mungu anatafuta kanisa. That we worship him in truth and in spirit. Ambayo itamwabudu katika kweli na katika roho. That is why I say Ndimona nasema truth ukweli is the way to life. Ndiyo njia ya maisha. Tell your neighbor, be a man and a woman of truth. Tuwe watu wa ukweli. Mahali kuna ukweli, katalia hapo. Usitumie shortcut. Kuwa mtu wa ukweli. Njia ile kweli mekubalika na mungu. Maana, ukiona mahali kuna ukweli kuna Mungu. Lakini sisi mara mingi tunapendaka shortcut. Shortcut. Njia ya mkato. Hizo certificate tuko nazo kwa nyumba leo. Mtu akao na certificate ya degree, mtu akao na certificate ya diploma, certificate ya this and that. And hajawahi kanyanga hata class siku moja. Si kuna kadi umeweka hapa kwa mfuko, ati wewe ni technician wa nini? Na hujaisomea unaenda unapewa kazi na mtu mshikanishie stima ukitoka hapo nyumba yote inalipuka na umebeba kadi inasema electric engineer wa electricity na hata ujui kile unafanya kwa hiyo unatumia shortcut be a man a woman of truth tuwe watu wa ukweli if you don't know you don't know kama hujui hujui but we are more of lies. Tumejawa na uongo. And now we stand before God. 
covering ourselves with lies. Hadi tukisimama mbele ya Mungu tunaficha uongo wetu. Tell your neighbor, do not build your family without the truth. Don't build your career without the truth. Na Kiingereza ni ngumu eh? Okay. Na maanisha hivi usifanye chochote usijenge chochote bila ukweli Yesu anasemaje maana neno yake ndiyo ukweli nyumba iliyojengwa kwa neno hata mvua ije dhoruba ngarika ikuje itafanyaje haiwezi kianguka maana iko kwa msingi wa mawe ambayo msingi ni neno na neno ni ukweli chochote kile unafanya kwa ukweli huo ukweli unakupeanga ujasiri hata shetani akuje ah mimi nimetumia ukweli wacha akuje mtu ambaye anatembea kwa ukweli hata ukiomba utasikia anaombanga na ujasiri ah thank you jesus i know you answer me mimi nimefanya party yangu najua Mungu atafanya party yake lakini wakati ule tunatembea kando ya ukweli ndio naona hata tukiomba tuko na doubt Nanyewe basi wewe unaona Mungu atanijibu kweli? Because tunajishuku atujajenga maisha yetu kwa ukweli. Na ukweli ni neno ya Mungu. Kuza mtu mwambie be one of the truth. Anything that is not true run away ambacho si cha ukweli toroka. Ukienda mahali ukute kuna fanya shortcut shortcut say no 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 no. I stand by the truth. I don't support anything but only the truth. Ukipata ambapo pana njia ya mkato, simama na ujasiri na useme wewe ni wa ukweli. Let me tell you something. Uongo mara nyingi unakimbianga sana. Na Mr. Ukweli yeye anaendanga pole pole. Pole 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 but the end of the day ukweli ndio usimama uongo unaanguka so hata ukisingiziwa na unajua vizuri wewe ulifanya ukweli lakini unazingiziwa uongo don't worry ile kitu unajua ukweli huo unajipigania mtaongea mtafanya hivi mtafanya hivi but mimi nishasema this is the truth na nimesimama hapo fanyeni the rest of issues mnataka let me tell you something. Inaweza chukua muda, lakini one day the truth will win the battle. Ukweli hushinda vita. Hakuna mahali uongo unashinda ukweli. Desire to be one walking on the path of genuine truth. Tutamani kutembea katika njia ya ukweli. And everything una build whether your career, whether your business, whether you are whatever, everything, everything unatengeneza jenga kwa msingi wa ukweli. Hiyo kitu itasimama. Hata magonjwa ikuje, dhoruba zikuje, misukasuko ikuje, hiyo kitu itasimama. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba. Because Yesu alisimama John 14 verse 6 akasema aje mimi dimi ukweli I am the truth the way and life. Truth way to life. Mimi ndimi njia Nini? ukweli na Jesus life. is everything. I am the truth way life. Truth is the way to life. Anything walking the path of truth ends up in eternal life. Chochote kitatembea katika njia ya ukweli kitapata uzima wa milele. Ndio nataka tujue ukweli na hata katika kuabudu Mungu kwetu tumwabudu Mungu na ukweli. Hata kwenda kanisa Tusiende kanisa kwa sababu watu wanaenda kanisa. No. Ni duty yako kama Mkristo ya ku fellowship na wale wengine katika nyumba ya Bwana. Sikiliza roho Mungu anakuelekeza aje. 
ifanye katika roho ukija hapa kuja katika spirit so how many of us today here have christ invitation wangapi wetu hapa tuko na mwaliko wa kristo christ invitation i mean you are here by the truth uko hapa katika kweli no sikuizi ukitaka mke mzuri bwana kuanga kanisani so kuna kanisa nimeona pale wacha nende niingie hapo ni abudu abudu miezi mbili tatu najua ndapata mke ama bwana so now you are here but not in the truth sasa uko hapa lakini si katika kweli mtu kama huyo chochote kinaweza hata hii mbao ikianguka ianguke pale inaweza kushitoka toroka mbio kaenda uoga tu inaweza <laughs> ika kutoa kwa baraka za Mungu lakini mwenye ameingia in the truth whether abarikiwe ama asibarikiwe Jesus is Lord Yesu ni Bwana These people worship me with their mouth but their heart are too far Hawa watu wananiabudu kwa vinywa vyao lakini mioyo yao iko mbali. Inamaanisha ibada yetu si genuine. Haiko katika ukweli. Tunaongea tu Yesu, Yesu nakupenda nakupenda. But ndani ya moyo unajua hakuna upendo wa Mungu because upendo wa Mungu ni kushika sheria zake without kuruka. Bwana asifiwe. Look at our giving. Tazama ambavyo tunatoa. What is the way of God to us giving? Njia ya Mungu kuhusu kutoa kwetu ni ipi? He says, give God the best. Anasema tumpatie ile ya dhamana. Give it from your heart. Patie kutoka kwa moyo wako. And when you give, ambapo utapeana, expect God to be your rewarder. Ngoje Mungu Expect God to be your rewarder. That is the, the, the way of God. Ngoje Mungu atakulipa. But sisi leo ukipea huyu 500 kesho mngekutana pale una It's like unamwambia hebu twende hoteli. Mimi njana nilikunulia chai. Wewe leo lazima ununue. You see the kind of giving we, we, we have today. I give you you give me. If you don't give me then wewe hauna value. Kikupa <laughs> lazima unipe na usiponipa hauna dhamana. Haleluya. Amen. Tell your neighbor, kwa kila jambo unalolifanya, tafuta kujua ukweli wa Mungu unasemaje. Tafuta kujua ukweli wa Mungu unasemaje. Ndio ukifanya, ndio ukifanya. Uwe sure. Umefanyia Mungu lakini unasema leo nita dance unaona ule yako pale atajua mimi leo na dancing yani una dance duku da una dance mpaka una sweat mpaka unatoa shirt una every time una dance unaangalia kama anaona wewe ni rais sana ushikwa na pneumonia for sure na hiyo ni kind of that pneumonia inaweza kuua rais sana because Mungu ayuko hapo the motive of your dance Nia ya kucheza kwako ni ipi Is it in the truth and in spirit Je ni katika kweli na roho Because if it is not in the truth it's not of God Maana kama si katika kweli si ya Mungu And God is not there Na Mungu hayuko hapo Whatever you do Chochote unachokifanya Your prayer Maombi yako your life maisha yako you are giving kutoa kwako you are daily life katika maisha yako ya kila siku thing you build every day kila kitu ambacho unajenga leo stick to the truth usimamie ukweli the way of god ndio njia ya mungu god bless you that's why wana uliza watu what do you know that can save you Ni nini unayejua ambaye inaweza kuwa? Hawa watu wana shauku, wana kiu, wana bidii ya kutumikia Mungu. Lakini 
wengine wanatumika in the wrong way. Maandiko nasema kwa sababu ya hiyo they are wasting time. We must have Matthew 15 verse 8. Because of that they worship in vain. Yaani ndugu yangu hiyo masaa nimekaa kanisani kutoka asubuhi mpaka saa hii nimeharibu muda bure. Just because ibada zangu ziza rohoni na ziambatani na kanuni ya Mungu inakuwa disqualified yote na unajua kwa Mungu kama sheria ni kumi ukivunja moja kwa Mungu umevunja zote hakuna hati wewe ni kamoja tu no partial obedience is total disobedience tell your neighbor partial obedience is total disobedience okay you say you love Jesus unasema unapenda Mungu talk to me you say you love Jesus walk in the truth. Amen. Ukisema unampenda Yesu tembea katika kweli. If not in the truth, kama sio katika kweli, is hypocrisy. Ni kujifanya. Is hypocrisy. Ni kujifanya. The other day niliwaambia wa Kristo hii kitu inaitwa ubinafsi kujipenda sisi wenyewe inafanya wa Kristo wengi wana miss mark ya Mungu because sasa ina affect hata tukienda mbele ya Mungu it's like tunataka ni nini tutatoa kwa Mungu hata kuabudu kwetu ni kidance ni nini nitatoa kwa Mungu nikija kanisa mapema kwani ni nini nitatoa kwa Mungu I think if anything to do with the reward eternal life should be our greatest focus. Maisha ya milele inafai kuwe mtazamo wetu. Kama kuna kitu nataka kutoa kwa Mungu na nataka uweke ndani ya moyo wako as the first priority in whatever you do whether you serve God whether you go to church whether you help the needy whether you do what eternal life let it be your focus. Kwa kila jambo ambalo unafanya uzima wa milele unafaa ukue mtazamo wako. Kwa nini ninaenda kanisa saa kumi na moja? wengine wanakuja saa ine? Eternal life. Maisha ya milele. Kwa nini ninasamea nikikosewa na wengine wakisamea wanapelekana kutine? Eternal life. Maisha ya milele. That is the truth. Hiyo ndiyo ukweli because knowing Jesus maana kumjua Yesu is to know his way ni kujua njia yake and to know his reward na kujua thawabu yake his greatest reward thawabu yake ya hadhi for you and me kwako wewe na mimi is to enter heaven ni kuingia mbinguni so sasa usikuwa na hiyo maswali ya na nikiomba na nikienda kanisa na nikisaidia wengine na nikifanya hivi na nikifanya hivi eternal life should be your focus maisha ya milele inafai kuwe mtazamo wako wale wa Kristo wanajua Mungu wanajua hiyo they know hata hata kufanyia kitu na utamtafuta utamuona atajificha because ataki umwambie thank you. Atakushika mkono hivi akuvushe na ukifika hapa umefuka atatoroka. Ataki umwambie thank you. Maana anajua greatest reward yake ikitoka juu bas eternal life. Eternal eternal life itano itano life. i want to live itano life god save my soul i want to live itano life god save my soul. 
I'm looking, I'm running after Jesus and the matters of God because of eternal life. Ninamkimbiza Yesu kwa sababu ya maisha ya milele. Because of eternal life. Lakini wa Kristo wasikwizi. Ha? That's why even when they have the power to serve God, they also demand you pay them to serve Jesus. Ndipo hata ambapo wana nguvu ya kumtukia ya kumtumikia Mungu, watataka uwalipe ndipo za mtumishi. Anataka hata akivusha kiwete barabara, kiwete mtu ana miguu. Akimvusha barabara, uko na mbao. Na sali utamkuta amekaa kanisani. Anasema Yesu ni Bwana, Yesu ni Bwana. Unavusha kiwete barabara na unamgeukea, uko na mbao. Uko na 50, kama una 50 mbao ni sawa tu. <laughs> I think let's focus on eternal life. Tuzingatie maisha ya milele. Vitu za dunia hii zinaweza pita. Lakini uzima wa milele is there for you both in this world and the world to come my reward lord i pray your greatest reward as you serve God as you stand with others as you do the work of God whatever you are doing what is your focus in reward my reward Lord I pray eternal life maybe you are poor but you have peace of heart maybe you are not that much blessed but you have peace of the heart Hebrews 4.3 the Bible says those who have entered believed in him have entered what? rest while on earth eternal life begins as we go to heaven Maisha uzima wa milele unaanzia hapa tukielekea mbinguni. Unakuta huyo mtu kwa sababu maisha yake amebuild kwa ukweli, yeye anaishi maisha ya amani, contentment which results to peace. Kutosheleka ambao inakuelekeza kwa amani. Si wati. Ye, yeah, ako huku. Eh, anajia, anadanganya na huku. <laughs> anadanganya na pande ile ingine. Peace. Amani. Peace, peace. Amani, amani. Ametulia. Ame contented with what God has blessed. Ametosheleka na ambacho Mungu amebariki nacho. Contentment will tell us Jesus is in your soul. Kutosheleka kutatuambia ya kwamba Kristo yuko ndani ya moyo wako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In conclusion, listen to me. 
What are we going to do then? What are we going to do then? So that to avoid kukimbizana na Mungu, hebu nikuulize. Umesoma msari unasemanga sio wote wa mwitao watafanya nini? Lakini ni wale wafanyayo. Sio wote wa mwitao sio wote Wewe unaweza muita bwana 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 prophet pastor evangelist whatever lakini siku ya mwisho mlango ifungwe why because it was just a title without the truth ilikuwa cheti bila ukweli mnakuja tu nasimama hapa hey, i'm the prophet eh? mimi ni rabi but inside my heart lakini ndani ya moyo wangu i'm not such mimi sio hivyo at the end of it the door will be closed Mushowe mlango utafungwa. Itakufaidi nini? Let us hold on to the truth. Tushikilie ukweli. Inside and outside. Ndani na hata nje. Let us know Jesus. Watatumjue Yesu. Andika chini. Tutafanyaje? One. Read your Bible. Meditate on the word day and night. Tusome Biblia. Tulitafakari neno la Mungu usiku na mchana. Jia za Mungu ziko kwa hii Bible. Okay? Soma hiyo neno, ipatie good time, concentrated time vizuri. Give that Bible good time. Tumasa Biblia wakati unaostahili. Uwe na masaa ambayo unawacha simu zako pale kwa meza, unawachia mama na watoto ama mzee na wale wengine. Unawacha simu hapo na whatever busy busy thing. Unachukua only you and your Bible unakaa private unaisoma vizuri unairudia unairudia because the more unasoma neno ya Mungu the more unatambua njia za Mungu kwa ile neno hapo ndani haleluya na ile ne ukweli unapata pale the more unaurudia kufikiria kwa moyo na kwa akili the more inaingia kwa spirit yako bwana asifiwe sana Sasa wengine wetu hata hatuna Bible tutasoma nini? Wengine wetu hatuna Bible tutasoma nini? Lakini simu tuko nayo, si ndio? Let me tell you a secret. Wacha nikwambie siri. This Bible, Biblia hii si kama ile unafungua anga hapo kwa simu. Make sure uko na Bible kama hii. Si semi exactly kala ama no nasema hard kama inua yako like that like this like that like that as a bible wacha na hiyo asimu sana saa nyingine unaenda kusoma hiyo asimu tu vitu vingine tunaanza kupitia hapo juu tunakaa hivi <laughs> na tingine tuko uchi so macho yako inaibiwa si nikwambia shetani anakimbia anga haraka sana Macho yako inaendanisha na wakati toka napita hapo. Unaenda. Kitambo urudi kwa Bible, akili mind yote imekuwa defile. Usiku naanza kunyongwa. Pasta, pasta. Na yeye Mungu anaambia pasta funga simu. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Napatikana vizuri sana. Unanyongwa, unajikojolea kwa kitanda. Hmm? Unaamka asubuhi na jilani. Make sure uko na Bible kama hii. Unaenda private somewhere quiet. You read your Bible. Mahali pa menyamaza unasoma Biblia yako. Unarudia tena na tena na tena. The more unairudia, the more inajifungia kwa moyo na kwa kinywa chako. Amen. Utakaona tu kameandikwa hapo. Fear God. Fear God. Fear God. Fear God. Mogope Mungu, mogope Mungu. Holy Spirit naye ana take over now. Anaanza kukufichulia hiyo ni nini inaitwa fear God. Anakufundisha. Anakufundisha. Ukienda kulala usiku, anakubeba kwa maono, anakuonyesha vile Mungu alivyo mkubwa. Unaamka kwa hiyo ndoto unasema, ah, mimi vile nimeelewa Mungu leo, sitawecheza na Mungu." Bwana siwe sana. Amen. So kujua njia za Mungu lazima usome neno 
na we meditate the holy spirit naye akusaidie because holy spirit kama una neno ndani ya moyo hana kitu ya kukusaidia yeye anatumianga nini na kama ni kama mkulima bila njembe si mkulima hakuna kitu atafanya because hata lima na migu no lazima akuwe na nini holy spirit anategemea neno ile umesoma umeweka kwa moyo ndio akuje usiku akukumbushe ujione aidha aifunue unjione kwa ile neno ama afunue Mungu kwa ile neno umuelewe zaidi Nataka nikujue nikufa Nataka nikujue Ili tuache kuabudu Mungu tunakaa watu wamechanganyikiwa Unasikia let us lift our hands and worship God Worship leader hata asaidi kuwa anasema hivyo. Anasaidi kusema ni wakati wa kuabudu. Watu wanaojua Mungu unaona akisema ni wakati wa kuabudu Mungu, unaona wengine wanaenda kwa magoti. Bila kuambiwa na mtu, unaona wanaanza kunua mikono. Unaona wengine wanabao. Unaona wengine wanafunga bagi zao wanaweka huko chini, huko ya kiti. Na wanaanza bila kuambiwa na mtu because kuna kitu wanajua kuhusu Mungu Ukiendelea kuabudu Mungu kuomba bila kujua ufahamu ibada zetu maombi kutumikia Mungu itakuwa bure na kuibiwa na shetani ni rahisi sana In fact utakuta unajiabudu badala ya kuabudu Mungu ama unaabudu shetani Soma neno ifikirie tena na tena Bwana asifiwe na kwa mambo yote katika neno la eternal life iwe ndiyo kitu unakimbizana nayo dunia hii Bwana asifiwe sana tuache kukimbizana na vitu za dunia mpaka zinatotoa kwa Mungu kutafuta shamba unatafuta shamba unaongana una forge document unabadilisha jina ya huyu unaenda kwa hawa unaongana pesa andikeni jina yangu ukitafuta shamba i wish tungefanya hivyo tukitafuta Mungu <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> because Jesus is the one that matter to us Yesu ndio maana kwetu atoki kuja kanisa kuja kanisa kwa sababu kuna kitu unajua kuhusu Mungu. Ukiabudu, abudu kuna kitu unajua. Mungu abudi hivyo hivyo anatetemekewa. Kama ni kutolea Mungu, jiulize, Mungu anasemaje? Si mtu akuchukua tu anything from there unarusha pale. No. Hallelujah. Kama ni kusaidia maskini Usiende kupeana ile unga ya ya 8 bob na kwako unakulanga unga ya 200 quality i mean quality kilo mbili moja inauzwa 8 kilo mbili nyingine inauzwa 250 wewe unakulanga kilo mbili ya 250 lakini jirani akilia njaa unaenda kuchukua ya 8 hakuna kitu umetoa maandiko nasema love your neighbor as you love Mpende jirani yako ambavyo unajipenda. Kile unajipendea wewe hicho ndicho unapatia ule mtu mwingine. The best. Sia tu unasema uje hebu ninunulie huyu msichana kiatu. Sio unaenda unasema E 1500, E 2000, E 1000, E 300. Nipe hiyo 300. Hata ni heri usinunue. Lakini moyoni Mungu ajue uko na desire kufanyia huyu mtu kitu. Inua kiwango changu. That is one of prayer I'm making. Hiyo ndio maombi ambayo ninafanya. God lift my standards. Mungu inua kiwango changu. I want to surprise you. Because dunia hii inakuanga na understanding nyingine kwamba kanisa ni maskini. Watumishi wa Mungu ni maskini. Wait for me there I'm coming. 
Ningote hapo naja. I'll prove to you. Hallelujah. Let me share that our God has everything. Ya kwamba Mungu wetu ana vyote. I'll make sure I'll prove it. I'll make sure I'll prove it. Before Jesus comes. That the church is not poor. Ya kwamba kanisa si maskini. That the men of God are not poor. Watumishi wa Mungu sio maskini. Because it's like you this is a pastor. Ah, huyu jamaa anataka pesa. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. People you only see money you can't see the spirit. You know, money is a result of word and spirit. It's a material thing that we can create. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 God say, let there be and there was. So we possess what create. It's only a matter of time. Tunamiliki kinachoumba. Wait for me there. Niko muda tu ningoje hapo. said God I want to prove this point Mungu nataka kudhibitisha Elijah aliomba akasema Mungu tu allow me ijulikane leo wewe ni Mungu So this is my prayer God Hii ndio maombi yangu Mungu I want to put this point clear to the world Nataka kudhibitisha kwa dunia I'm not talking about Kenya Africa no the world Dunia nzima There is a program that is coming here very soon in the synagogue Kenya. Kuna mpangilio ambao unakuja synagogue Kenya. Even refugees from western countries will come here. <laughs> Government people, big authorities will make phone call here. Watu wakubwa watapiga simu hapa. We need this assistance. They say, "Yeah, yeah, please bring them, bring them. We will help them." Tunaitaji msaada huu. We will help them. Walete tuwasaidie. Who told you God is poor? Nani alikwambia Mungu ni maskini? So, katika maisha yako, don't be little yourself. If you have the living word Jesus said John 6:63 The words I speak to you are both life and spirit meaning they can create material things John chapter 1 he say and nothing that was created except by the word So if you, if you possess the word you possess everything Ukiwa na neno una kila kitu It's just a matter of time. Ni muda tu. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Your prayer is answered. Amen. Well, very soon I'll I'll bring to you this project. It's coming. It's coming. It's in the pipeline. Hivi karibuni nitawaletea mradi huu. is a center is a very big center recognized all over the world here ni pale ambapo panajulikana ulimwengu mzima i i know those who know me from backgrounds eh naku eh what it's okay si huyu ni yesu mwana wa maria alizaliwa hapa tukiona it's okay but leo wanamsalute jesus the king of kings Only maintain your focus you will become what God has designed you to be. Weka mtazamo wako utakuwa ambacho Mungu amekusudia uwe. I know who I am. Najua mimi ni nani. Lord Jesus. He will do it. Mungu atatenda. Run after the truth. You will have it. Sana na ukweli. Wengine wakitafuta vitu mingi mpaka wanatoka kwa njia ya Mungu weka kwa njia ya Bwana. Weka kwa njia ya Mungu. Mjue Mungu tunaukaa hapo tu. 
waabudu kwa ufahamu usia usiabudu kwa sababu watu wanaabudu usikimbie maana watu wanakimbia usiimbe kwa sababu wanaimba imba after umengather information jinsi Mungu anaibiangwa usipige makofi kwa sababu wanasema piga usiseme amen maana wanasema amen amen yako ni translation gun Mungu amesema na iwe hivyo because wengine wanasema tu amen amen as a chorus you should be out of knowledge amina yako inafai kuje kwa ufahamu in jesus name we pray kwa jina la yesu jesus name we pray thank you for supporting my position Thank, Thank you. you for supporting my position. Without you, I will fall. Without you, I will fall. Cause you are my strength, my comfort. My redeemer, you are what you say. my helper all around low on me you are my helper my helper oh God you are my helper oh God you are Yesu alisimama akasema I am the truth. I am the way. I am life. Na akasema hapo mbele no one will reach God except by me. Ya leo nataka ujue Mungu zaidi. Soma neno, meditate mchana, ujue, ujue. Kwa nini leo hii una Mkristo anakosewa? Unasikia akisema pastor, mi huyo siwezi msame Jesus. Ajui Ukikataa kusamea wewe ndio umejifunga. Hata ule mtu ambaye unakataa kusamea hata ana shughuli. Wewe ndio umejifanya maskini, umejifunga mahali pamoja. Lakini hata samea kwa sababu ya kuto kujua. Kwa sababu ya juu ajui. Ye kulingana na yeye anafikiria akisamee anafanya ule mtu kitu mzuri. Ukisamea mtu wewe ndio unajifanya wema ni kwa wema wako lakini sasa kama ujui hivyo utabeba mtu ango 
Andi. Eh? Sijui alifanya nini miaka hiyo yote. Nataka tujue Mungu zaidi. Ukijua Mungu zaidi, tu mambo tungine tutakuwa rais. Ibada zako, relationship yako na Mungu. Relationship yako na watu itakuwa very simple. Very simple. Itakuwa rais. Lakini mtu mwenye ajui Mungu, ai mtasumbuana. Mtasumbuana. I pray that your heart no Jesus. Naomba nafsi zetu zikamjue Yesu. Jesus filled their heart with your truth in Jesus.